Oh, they hear the commotion, they get turned on by the bloodlust. It's like Viagra to them. It's like a zombie boner for life. Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17. I finally found a lovely place. We were actually going to go to do our quest and as I came to where the quest is all my balls guys, perfect biome. Everything is there. There is dozens of houses. Yeah, we will have a loot field day before day seven. And I found a place among all the chaos where we can actually build a horde base as well. There is so much room in this area to build as well. Now, mind you, it is between houses, so the frames might be a bit dodgy, but I leave them on to have a look at it. Anyway, this is a house where I want to settle down like we did in the other biome, but this is actually the one that I prefer. So at some point, we're going to go back get our junk from the other house and put it in here, but we should be able between these houses to find everything we need. Anyway, I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Now I spent some time walking around these areas and all oh my balls, look at these houses. Yeah, luckily we came across some nice snowflakey area as well on the way in. So we got ourselves some liquid sorted out, some drink, but this is where our quest and look at this oh my balls and we, we're gonna be looting for days these guys i'm convinced they're spawned in by the game going like dude you don't belong here and i keep missing every single hit absolutely every single hit i think it's mob dependent sometimes some mobs are really really sensitive towards how you, how you hit them and other mobs they couldn't care less if you're 10 miles beside their head it still hits them so i i do think it's a very very mob dependent hitbox issue like we're experiencing in general so but i'm trying not to focus on this too much let's um get our health up there we go let's get our food up yes excellent and we get our drink up as well this is lovely so luckily we have a little bit of snow left so we can reboil these uh can these containers but as soon as we have a pot we're gonna be doing a lot better so there you go excellent stuff we're going to check out the area together in a second we're going to overeat a little bit actually we're not even overeating yet we're just about getting to christmas things this is amazing okay come on let's go let's go Excellent. So we're back at 100 now and we're getting more health as well. Beautiful. There we go. Nice. Whew. Okay. So luckily I have all the money for, uh, on me for the trader. I don't know where the closest trader is, but I'm not going to walk all the way back there to hand the quest and when we do it. So but first, let's clear things out here. That's why I kind of went in uh, to stock up. We probably should make a small chest here so we're not encumbered while we're clearing out the house. That is a very, very good point because you guys were mentioning that last time as well and saying like, why the hell do you go inside a house when you're completely over encumbered? I know it's encumbered, but you know what? Just whatever. <laughs> it's just how I say it, man. Don't judge me. Just enjoy it. We also found an iron pickaxe in a bag, I think it was. I don't remember. I was exploring the whole area, picking up random things here and there. Um, but overall, there we go. Nice. We keep that money on us because I don't trust anybody with it. So we're going to leave all that stuff in here. There we go. We got actually good sorted out. I don't need to worry about the first Horde Knight too much, to be honest. We got our hammer. We got everything we want, really, just in case we need this in there for some meat blocks. We need a bone chip. There we actually we have one right here to repair this. Genie Mac. Okay, so let's go. And we can also repair our pickaxe now. I completely forgot that we had a little bit of that. So let's get the wrench with us because hopefully we can find something useful in there. So we have very good tools on us as well now. Very good. I like it. They, they will stamina drain the crap out of us, but we should be okay. Also, as soon as we get more materials... This is a loot house. This is a dungeon house. Uh, we're going to make them bandages, I was going to say. This is a dungeon house, guys, so I expect a lot of resistance here. But first things first, let's open that front door. Oh, it's already open. And let's see who's in it. Okay, let's just see if that works. Let's go in. Okay, there was obviously somebody there, but is that it? So usually... <coughs> I was just about to say, usually as soon as you start hitting one, they all come out. There we go. Okay, so let's deal with them. Nice. 
excellent stuff. So come on, guys. Let's dance. I need to put my bed down. I probably should have put my bed down here on the street. There we go. Nice. Let's regain some stamina. Let's see if we have... We don't even have a bed. Oh, my balls. How can I not have a bed? Okay, let me just make this bed here real quick. Like, this is ridiculous. And bread roll. Thank you. There we go. Craft. Ah, we don't need more grass for now. Thank you very much. Okay, there you go. You and your brother, you can, your twin brother, you can come here. I'm going to give you both equal beatings, so don't worry about that. What do we have there? We have Miss Butterfly over there in the corner by the door trying to get the attention going. Hey, guys, you're leaving me out. Why are you leaving without me? Okay, so just let really quickly put this bed down here in case something bad happens. Okay, let's go. Yeah, he's feeling left out, definitely. Let's reload. Let's get some action going here. Let's get looting, guys. Let's get looting. Beautiful. There we go. We get him like a right hook right in the face. And another one. I think we need only three. There you go. If he's that derpy, it makes me wonder if we could get away with making a mob, fa a, a mob farm where we can just spawn them, um, lure them into like a door cave or something i don't know oh wow okay there's a crate here but first we're gonna have to check out the rest of the house there we go i think we have some wanderers coming in so let's close that door where are they i heard some footsteps coming from the outside okay there we go there's the lady there's the lady of the house. Oh, come on! Really? Really? <laughs> come on. Okay, fine. Look at that. Beautiful. There's nobody behind us. I know you guys get heart attacks from that. You always say, like, how can you run into a room without looking what's in it and just start looting? Well, it's how I roll. Living on the edge, baby. That's why I die a lot. <laughs> All right, these chairs, they look really nice, these chairs. I'm going to take them. They're mine now. Hey. Okay, dude, dude, dude. Just knock on the door. Stop being such a douchebag and just, you know, just knock at the door. It was open. You could have just come in. You know, it's not like you, like we're waiting for me to... Okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. We have nine health left. This is awful. Okay, we're getting squeezed in like and me missing every single melee hit is like becoming an absolute pain in the balls. So and I'm forced to actually hit their chest because their head is such a piece of difficult crap to hit. Which means more hits to die. And I even got a perk to actually hit harder when it hits the face and it doesn't seem to help or make a difference. Because if you can't hit it, you can't kill it. There we go. Come on. Nice. All right, we have nine health left. Luckily, we have a bed here. We're going to be doing all right. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Okay, let's use this. Let's have a little bit of a drink. Then scrap this. We can get rid of this. Thank you. Seriously? Really? Is the house not enough? Is it not enough to go into a house and empty it? Do we need constant spawns of zombies that just come and come to the POI and trying to wreck your day? Seriously, game? Okay, let's go. I mean, I'm, I'm shooting a gun, so I shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else we have in here. Yeah, we can loot that. Oh, nice. We can make more water from that. Beautiful. There we go. There's a good drink. Um, we need something to heal. There you go, nice. It would be good to find some medicine, some tablets or something, or bandages. There we go, more ammo. Is there anything else here? No. Okay, we're gonna go down to the bay. Oh, wow, what is that? Oh, that's a car. I thought it was an evil face. Okay. There we go. Luckily, if we happen to die and get attacked, um, we don't have far to our bed, so we can probably get everything back very easily. I'm not really too worried, to be honest. Let's take all these chairs. Wow. Well, if, you make a, if you make a bag behind every picture, then it kind of loses its appeal. Okay, we have a basement here as well. So let's, let's deal with this here first, okay? We have some cabinets here that we can open. Thank you. 
Okay, that became very quiet then, very scary. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's do a little bit more eating. Nice, because if we are well fed, we are healing. Okay, we actually, we have a point. What we need, and I know I should be investing into more Lucky Looter. And what's the other one you guys mentioned? Lucky Looter and Barter. So we're not going to need Barter yet. And we probably level up again before we get into Barter. So I would say it would probably be wise to have at least one point in gaining some passive health. Even if it is one point every 30 seconds. I think it makes sense. Okay, hey guys. Ah! Mother of testicles! Genie Maca balls! He came from the shelf! I don't know what happened! Holy crap! And now they're kissing my feet! Do they worship me or do they want to eat me? I actually don't know. Man! Oh, they gave me a heart attack! Dude! How are we gonna get in there now and get our stuff out? I think the zombies go sleep again or they kind of go passive. I think. Oh, there. Okay, okay. I take it, I take it. Okay, this garage is full of surprises, dudes. That was my own fault. It's okay. There we go. He's down. There we go. Oh, wow. Come on. Okay, make sure there's nobody behind us. Okay. Yeah, I was just about to say, this guy, I'm waiting for him. Okay, he's coming down now, so let's deal with him first. I'm not going to get up. I want to stay crouched. There he is. Come on. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. Do we have any more arrows to pick up here? No. Okay. That definitely learned my lesson the hard way here. Got 2.5 damage, but... Oh, wow. There was two power shots after that many arrows. Wow. Oh, crap. Crap! Okay, let's focus. Let's just clear out that house. Can't believe I want to stay here. Okay. If we can clear out the garage, that would be a good place to stay. Or to start. Very good. Okay, let's see if they're coming from the side. Oh, there's a big hole here. Okay, let's see what we're walking into here. There's nobody above me. We get a lot of resources here. Nobody behind me, okay. There we go. There we go. Nice. <sighs> okay. Nice. Okay. Yes, nice, more bandages. Okay. Okay, I'm expecting bad things. Okay, that's fine. I'm just trying to be a bit quieter so I can hear better what's going on, guys. I really can't even anymore with this place. OK, 
Okay, nobody's coming. There we go. We get these lag stutters every now and then when they're definitely to do with how they spawn or wake up zombies. And it's very frustrating when you're actually in the middle of fighting a zombie because you don't know if you're hitting it or missing it. Oh, my balls. If you're hitting it or missing it because of it. We're gonna loot in a second. We just wanna get through this place and clear it out. Nobody here. Okay, that's the other side. Okay, excellent. Let's open this up. Nice. I don't think this place might be the best place to um, stay. Oh, this is a very good top. Yeah, let's wear that. Excellent. No, let's scrap that. There we go. And this is where we get back to the kitchen. Okay, I think we've done the full round. I think so. Just get rid of this here because that's just going to be in the way if we want to jump in. There we go. And we have a lot of loot here as well. Okay, so we're going to claim the house. We're going to loot it. Um, we want to make a... Let's go and get some of that stone that we saw outside. Oh, of course, now we have a roaming horde coming in. Holy mother of balls. There we go. Now let's get a little bit of scrap. That should be enough. Excellent. Oh, it wasn't enough. Okay, let's take care of these. I think we're taking this all in a single cut. Um, I might have edited out the revival or something. Dude, why do you keep lagging, man? Oh, my balls! Don't miss the right clicks! Okay, we leveled up again. Now, sexy Saurus. I want to be into building, though. Well, melee and tool use. Yeah, oh, we can't, so we have to go into strength. Okay, let's go into strength. Do we have a point left? Yes, okay, sexy Saurus it is. And minus 69 on mother load. Let's put one to pack mule. Excellent. We're clearing out the points here now. So, um, the question came up, of course, the question came up when I said I'm not going to play with models this time just to basically see how far we can get with the base um, game. Um, the first thing is like, oh, try this model, do this model, do this model. It's like, you're never happy, dudes. You're never happy. <laughs> it's like, I use models. Oh, you hit me. Of course you hit me. You're such a douche canoe hit me from 10 miles away because well your animation sucks okay so this house has to be claimed we need some what the hell was that a chrysanthemum seed wow they updated the image for that that is sweet i like it because you could barely see it actually in the inventory before it was like really thin and transparent nearly that is good i like it okay very good now we need to stake our claim. Where's stone? We have to have some stone here to build a land claim block to prevent the zombie spawning and the bed, of course. Let's move the bed. And claim block. There we go. All right. Now, let's go in. What are we going to do here? I'm okay with probably being down here. I th oh, I think actually we didn't go upstairs yet, did we? Oh! Jesus, I knew it. Holy crap, that gave me a fright. I knew it and it still gave me a fright, guys. I bloody knew it. <sighs> okay. There we go. Nobody coming from this side. There we go. A nice, lovely right click. Ah! 
There we go. Nice. Okay, we're gonna have to close that door, I think. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with them before they get in. Yeah, of course. Oh, they hear the commotion. They get turned on by the bloodlust. It's like Viagra to them. It's like a zombie boner for life. There we go. You're dead, yeah. I don't know, when I had the idea of um, taking this house over, I didn't have that much difficulty imagined, envisaged. Yeah, I, this time I knew. I expected some nonsense to be behind a corner. I might be getting a dog as well, so I have to be careful. Don't lag! I can hear somebody already coming from the outside. I wouldn't be surprised if they spawned them in behind me now. There's another guy. Okay, let's wait for stamina. Let's wait for stamina. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent, excellent, beautiful. And now we're gonna clear out this area here. I could feel lag. They're spawning something. I know we can loot this, guys. I know. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the land claim down here. They're coming in now. Put the land claim up here. Hey, how are you doing, Egger? Okay. Okay. All right. So this is going to be our attic. Nothing is going to spawn in here. And I think this is where we're going to stay. We have a way out through the attic. Excellent. All right. Beautiful. And this is where we shall stay. So let's take this bed apart so we can put our bed there. Very nice. I like it. And the good thing is between the hot base and this, this time I'm going to build them close enough so we can actually get from one to the other. Maybe. I don't know if we should. Oh, this is very good. I like that. Okay. Anyway, let's get rid of the bed. Let's get rid of the lamp. There we go. And place down our bed. Let's get rid of the stand as well. Radiators? Can we... No. But it's iron. Definitely. Nice. Okay. And let's take this apart. Is that for... Nice. I like it. I know it's free light, but I don't like where it is in the room. I think we're gonna leave this episode here, guys, but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go and loot this chest, which is the main chest in this building. And then I spent the night going through all the boxes and everything and um, whatever not. There should be no zombies spawning in here now. We have the land claim clock, so that should be okay. So let's see what's in here. Oh, nice. Reinforced padding, a rocket launcher, and some rocket frags. I love it. Okay. I'm happy with that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. There was something else. Definitely, I underestimated that building, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming. Well, the one good thing is that you are going to get some resources here. These guys can give you um, some electrical parts, I believe. 
Um, let's just see here. Now we don't get anything for the most of the time. All these bags that we can loot, we can get rid of them because oh, because they're not gonna respawn like so. That's not gonna happen. But at least we're gonna get some resources out of them. I shouldn't have to worry about anything coming up behind me in my own house now. So we also have to make a shovel if we can. Um, I don't think I have the required plant fiber. But um, this here should give us a little bit of iron. Very good. We're going to get any iron at all? We just got a little bit when we started hitting it. There we go. There's one. And do we get anything? Ah, we got an extra few on destruction. Okay. Let's see if we get something from this here. Do we get lucky? Yeah. These boxes. I mean, I know we got for this one, we got three electrical components. But it's like so rare that it's like, nah, 